In this screencast I'll show you how to use an unsymmetrical activity model called Margules in order to calculate VLE data for non-ideal systems. So first of all the theory that we looked at previously for non-ideal systems was with a symmetrical activity model and taking the example of chloroform and 1,4-dioxane we can actually calculate some VLE data uh, using a symmetrical constant of minus 0.995 and we can plot that and we do get a reasonable fit to the experimental data published in the literature uh, the data for this is shown here with the reference however we can get an improved fit if we use the Margules activity model which as I've already mentioned is an unsymmetrical model. The equations are shown here and the parameters that we use are A12 and A21 and we can either fit these say from an experimental data point like an azeotrope data point or we can look them up in the literature. Uh, these equations can be rearranged and this form here shown here can be useful if you want to calculate A12 and A21 from experimental data. It should also be noted that when A12 equals A21 the model reduces to the symmetrical activity model. So in terms of implementing the Margules equations then uh, for this particular example I've got a value of A12 and 21 from this reference here and very similarly to the symmetrical model we calculate an activity coefficient for component 1 component 2 using the forms of the equation given uh, at the, at the constants so these are just implementing the equations shown here for this theory part 2 so these are the equations and this is the implementation with the Excel formulas and because the literature data is at 50 degrees C that's what I've calculated here and everything's been calculated through and if I show you a plot then you can see that with modules there is an improved fit to the data and if I just show you how the activity coefficient varies with the liquid mole fraction for component 1 you'll see that the variation in gamma 2 and gamma 1 are no longer symmetrical as we've seen previously with the symmetrical model they're, they're unsymmetrical, they're no longer a mirror image to each other also just a few notes on the Margules activity model uh, one positive for the model is that it offers considerable flexibility in fitting VLE data for binary systems there are some negatives in terms of the limited theoretical basis and therefore it only provides an empirical fit to the data there's also no rational basis for extending the model to multi-component systems and there's no explicit temperature dependence for the parameters. Overall that's how we can use the Margules activity model to calculate VLE data.